time with any of those, so I'm going to stop there. All right. <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying Fire and Dice so far. Yes, if you guys are enjoying, then this this set should be pretty good, I, yes. I would probably say so. Probably. Their, their sets are really wonky all the time. They're really wacky, and uh, they do some really fun things all the time. Zan, one time, Zan grabbed Nico nine times in a row with Toon Link. <laughs> like, that's the only move he threw out, wow. and it worked nine times in a row well. on stream. So uh, that was a fun day, uh, just to give you an idea of how their sets normally go uh, and how seriously they take each other. Yeah. Uh, he grabbed him uh -huh. with Toon Link nine times. <laughs> Thank you for the description there, Pluto. I just want everyone to know, just in case you don't know, Toon Link's grab does not get you anything at all unless you're trying to kill them, and he wasn't. But hey, he got damage off. Definitely got damage. Is is uh, is Zan going all MK today? Uh, I think so. He's, I've seen him. You know, he's been going all Roy last time, and uh, had some bad losses last week to himself, so he didn't really like that. Now he's going all Meta Knight. Yeah, I don't think he really cares too much. Yeah, but definitely still wants to win here. So we're gonna see Shulk versus Meta Knight. I actually don't think I've ever seen Zan's Meta Knight versus Nico Shulk. Um, Nico's really good at this matchup because as soon as you start getting the dash attack on burst strings, he'll just go into shield mode and it completely ruins the whole like concept and purpose of the up air string. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's really frustrating for Meta Knight. So I remember when I first picked up Meta Knight and I like thought I was so amazing with the character and I was playing Nico and I was like, man, I'll finally beat Nico for the first time. And I dash attack up aired him, got like five up airs and he just switched into shield mode and he just fell down. <laughs> oh, I was like, no. oh no. And then you destroyed me. Yeah, but I think, oh, that forward's That's a buster so forward. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this. Yeah, I see what you're talking about, though. Switching into the Monado Arts. During oh, he might die. Oh. Ooh, he doesn't get the second hit. That would have killed, though. Tipper. Okay. So Zant is going back to neutral. He's got the lead. He doesn't really need to push anything right now. Yeah. Okay. He does yeah. have to get back to the stage, though, which can be hard to do against Nico. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how heavy his sword is. I don't even know. Like, he just... Does the laser beam add weight, or is it just like a... Like a lightsaber as I don't think it would add weight, yeah. considering that it's light, so... Yeah, but it's... Uh, yeah, exactly. It's got to have, like, you know, propulsion system inside the handle. Oh, yeah. And, or maybe it's just gypsy wizard magic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he always has to put his sword back on his back during every single attack. Don't get me started on this. It, yeah. it gets me so aggravated. <laughs> don't get me so heated when we talk about the Shulk's sword. Well, actually, not his well, sword. Well, you brought it up. So. sword's perfectly fine. But <sighs> fighting style. Just foolish. Oh, that was oh, a great pick. The Ahmad? Grab, though. We oh, see the Ahmad! Wow. Ooh, we got him! Uh, the 248, the Ahmad. Yep. <laughs> the up throw up air, whatever you want to call it. Zan actually fell for it, which is funny because Zan is the one who, you know, titled it the Ahmad in the 248. <laughs> yeah. You'd think you wouldn't fall for it, but there it was. You know, he's, he's one up air up B away from, from bringing this back and yeah. evening it up, but now he's like 17 oh. away. Oh! Still gonna kill regardless. Whoa, okay. I didn't know that. Forward smash every time he's in shield mode now. Good to know. Thanks, Zan. Even uh, even game one here. This is not semis yet, right? We're still... No, this is quarters. Okay, cool. Wait, did I make it to semis? Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think he did. So, yeah, I, I really like how uh, Nico just plays neutral with Shulk. Just always pretty much spacing his uh, aerials perfectly on shield. Ooh, this could be a lot. Oh, no, he actually managed to get out. Yeah, all of the different... Uh, Modes really help <laughs> Shulk get out of the up air strings because it's pretty much a different uh, different timing for each one. Yeah. Ooh, see again, like he just changes it, gets out. Yeah, it kind of threw him off there. Does he get the punish on the dash attack. Okay, he's those going jabs into, are silly. Yeah, that was super silly. He's going to j into shield mode really early. Uh, Zan can actually just do dash attack back and forth when he's in shield mode and not at high percents. So it's actually not that smart to be in shield mode around 60%. Yeah. Gets an F smash though, now he's off stage. Ooh. Yeah, Zan just looking for an opening here, maybe get a forward smash, catch Nico running in or, or nairing him properly. But Nico slowly but surely just kind of methodically bringing it back. Ooh. Okay, now he's in shield yeah, mode. Now there's a point to it. And you see immediately Zan resorts to just going back to the forward smash because it worked so well last stock to seal it out. But now he switches out of shield mode. Yeah, I think he just wants to preserve it. I don't think he feels like he's in too much danger yet. And and wants to keep shield mode for when he takes one more hit. Are he could have right. smashed him there. Oh, okay, that was interesting. Yeah, see, exactly. He gets hit once and he immediately goes back into shield mode. He rolled into yeah, that force. He smash. almost had that like he, he called that out yeah. before he even went for the roll. Zan pulled the trigger just a little too early on the force match. Might have sealed out the game, but 
We'll never know. Shield mode, maybe. You never know with shield mode, man. Yeah. Shield mode is... Oh, oh the raw backer is going to do it. Now this time, Nico called out Zen on his roll. Yeah, that was a super silly hitbox of back air. It sends you the wrong way, so you're thinking you're going to be either other way. And, ah, super tricky. All right, so Nico just kind of barely grazes by with game one. Yeah, I mean, Zanzman and I didn't really do too bad. Like, I just feel like in some cases, Nico was just, okay, yeah, now I feel like they're both not taking this seriously. Wait, what anymore. happened? What he, happened? Oh, you didn't see it? I didn't see it. Oh, Nico went corn. <laughs> But, uh, so yeah, I hope you guys are uh, enjoying this match. Uh, Pluto isn't even really watching the matches. Sorry. Much. Yeah. <laughs> Metal, Metal right. Rift beat K9, and that just threw me for a loop. Oh, you didn't know that? No, I just I just found out. Oh, about yeah, that. it happened earlier. That's cool. All right. Uh, so, actually, I think this matchup is in Meta Knight's favor. Um, I don't... I don't know. When Corrin came out, me and Larry grinded this matchup a lot because I was still on my Meta Knight train. And, uh... I, j I just think Meta Knight does really, really well against this character. He can he can punish uh, the oh, spacing yeah. habits really well, and ooh, that was a ooh. yeah, that was still good for a lot of damage. Yeah, but I can see what you're saying though, because like we literally, I literally just saw it as soon as I was about to say it. But in some cases, uh, Meta Knight's dash attack can actually uh, beat out the startup of Corn's insta pin. Yep, and it's if like she insta pins, you have time to just dash attack it anyway because yeah. she's just a bigger hitbox, and dash attack is so fast. Uh, and you don't have the tools to edge guard Corrin, really, because the up is such a crazy hitbox. But you really don't need that as long as you just beat her in neutral over and over. Ooh, that was a beautiful back here. Okay, up out of shield. shield. Nice. That was oh, all uh, the footstool. <laughs> good thing I can fly. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh but he, he, he calls roll. out the roll again. Man, we're seeing a lot of roll, roll, <laughs> roll reads with forwards match in this set from both players. So, yeah. interesting. Okay, 94% on the ledge. Okay. I feel like that shuttle loop. Oh, oh this time he. Man. Yeah. Oh. The spot dodge this time. And now, uh, Nico one stock away from from taking the set. Zan trying to take it to game three, maybe get the get the Shulk back out. But yeah. oh my God, this Corin. Yeah, Nico's Corin. I think I remember playing Corin just like a little bit, not as much, but I feel like recently he's uh, starting to find Corin is pretty fun to play. Okay, cool. Maybe just a secondary for matchups. He doesn't. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, oh, okay. Yeah. He's living. I thought we were gonna yeah. see something. I actually thought that up tilt was gonna lead to the game. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice idea. Just up be out of shield. Just again because the hitbox gets extended so much when she does insta pin. Yeah. Oh, oh my God! He, he read the spot out dodge. Another one. He's living though. I thought he was dead. Yeah. I thought he was dead for sure. At 68 center stage though, I, or I at 70, believe, I think. I can't believe Nico's still spot dodging after after getting hit twice. I just saw him spot dodge again. So it's just like man. Maybe he's just worried about down throw up the Possibly. Okay. Hits him with the back part of Insta Pan as he's retreating. Ooh. Okay, there's a that dash attack. Yeah. yeah, that's going to do it. Dash attack up B. The staple Meta Knight combo is taking us to game three. Yeah, as uh, I think Nico was uh, saying earlier, he, uh, he really enjoys, like, or just like, he, he enjoys seeing like upsets happen, like or just in like general tourneys. But now he's switching back to Shul. <laughs> uh, just uh, in general uh, tourneys, it it brings a lot of excitement to him because he, like he gets like some new like refreshing uh, feeling that you get to see when people play in bracket. Right. I mean, you made it to semis, so. No, I didn't. Oh, you did. I'm in oh, quarters, but I gotta oh, play right. metal rip, so I okay. might make it to semis. Okay. I don't have to play like a top, <laughs> like yeah. a, a ranked player, so yeah. that's cool. We'll see how that goes. But little Mac kind of bodies me. But anyway, this isn't about little Mac and my. Horrible, horrible time I have with him. This is about <laughs> <laughs> Zan and Nico, game three on FD. And uh, winner's going to move on to quarters in order to fight Rich. Yeah, but Zan's still going Meta Knight. Yeah, I, I don't I don't really mind the pick from Zan. His Meta Knight is super fun to watch and, yeah. and really, really solid. Um, Zan is just one of those players that like he pretty much knows like almost everything about the game. Yeah. He's just like... When he plays this game, he wants to find as many things as possible. Yep. Yeah, he can do pretty much like all the tech skill in the game for no reason. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like can, for every character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You just like performing tech stuff with like Puff and Ganon. Yeah. Just like a bunch of those like He picked characters. up Mewtwo and in like two days he had found stuff that like I'd never seen before. Yeah. Like, all right. <laughs> oh, that's a big dash attack. He's oh. searching for shield mode. Oh. oh, he tried to up him before shield mode activated, but didn't get the second hit. So not going to be able to kill him. Okay. Damage. Gets him off stage. Okay. 
Oh, again, they're just call they're trying to hit yeah. each other with more forward smashes. smashes, man. Okay, that was a good nair out of shield. Zan, when I feel like yeah, Zan, whenever he's uh just playing against Nico, just like I've seen this from his team like, a little bit too. He just doesn't want to really approach him like that much. Whenever he switches oh. uh, an auto arts, but that <laughs> back a, air is gonna do it. That was such a good conversion, recognizing that Nico is most likely gonna tech the up B and just went for a back air right afterwards. Really, really good uh, awareness there from Zan, and now he's one stock away from sending Nico to losers pretty early. Okay, the nair. Nico's reads are just so like on point. Yeah, like, they whenever are. he plays against someone, like, it's like he just. He'll hit you once, but then it's like he'll like always make the right guesses whenever he tries to go for the next hit, Smash. and it always looks so cool to watch. Smash mode is so risky right now. If Meta Knight gets a dash attack... Ooh, it's going to run out, though, before anything else happens. Going into speed mode. Work his neutral magic. Oh, that was a great wait from Zan. This okay. rage actually might... Yeah, oh, but he switches into shield yeah, mode. Shield yeah, shield just in time to save his life. The rage up B definitely would have took it. Oh, this is so scary. Oh, my God. But, I mean, okay. Zan still has two stocks, and I'm still scared. Oh, that's yeah, really smart. Or tornado, yeah, yep. just racking up the damage. Oh, oh catch up with, Yeah. That was a really interesting option uh, for that specific situation. Not going to kill with up B, but he is getting really, really close to stealing this, uh, this set out. Okay, down throw. Down throw, not going to steal it. He needs something here. He needs an up tilt or anything to kill Meta Knight. But right now he's just playing the playing uh, not to die yeah. <laughs> game. He's, he pretty much has to. Oh, up tilt. Yeah, that time up tilt takes go. it. Okay, speed mode show. Speed mode Nico is. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So many roll reads this set. Oh yeah. It's actually crazy. Yeah. Up B. Oh, no, not going. Not gonna do it. Yeah. No rage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is. This is getting closer and closer. Nico is so good in this uh, in this situation for some reason. You see him not rolling uh, into Zan anymore. Now he's rolling away. Okay, now in speed mode again. Like I was gonna say earlier, speed mode Nico is not a uh, type of person that you want to play up against. No, especially, especially on the last stock situation. Yes. Like Nico stocks are such a real thing. It is not like a, <laughs> <laughs> like a paranormal phenomena that yeah. is just a myth or something. Like he's really really good in this uh, scenario, and he's so good at Nico stocks. Oh, oh my god. god. And the legends are true. Don't ever doubt him. Zan kind of throw. Oh, oh rolls. The time. No. One more roll Still read survives. is probably going to do it, though. He's got to be really careful. Sweet spots up B, which is really, really uh, important there because Zan was definitely going to go for the back air if he overshot. Oh, this is so close. I feel like Zan should be going in, though, because he doesn't want him to go back into shield mode unless he's going to time him out. Yeah, maybe. I mean, he could. There's uh, one minute, uh, two minutes left. Yeah. Technically. A little under two minutes. <laughs> Ooh, it doesn't okay. even it doesn't even lock you in uh, in shield mode. Yeah, because you're just a giant Bowser basically. Oh my goodness! This is this is getting scary. He could go into smash mode and like do a risk it all, you know, yeah, end all be all. Smash, yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, back throw. I don't know what no, he's trying he's to just, go into. I think he's just waiting for shield mode. Yeah. Yeah. Got shield mode back. Oh my god, the forward smash. Oh my that goodness. might do it. Yeah, that is it gonna, is do, gonna it. do it. Even in shield mode, that up air is gonna take it. 